Okay, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a door uh, that opens up when you walk up to it. Uh, so first things first, uh, I'm going to go and take the what we've already created here uh, from previous tutorials and I'm going to add a cube and grab it, move it over here. I'm going to scale it on the x-axis, make it a little thinner and I'm going to grab it on the z-axis, lift it up and then I'm going to scale it on the z-axis and then I'll scale it on the y-axis. I'm just creating a little wall here. I'm also going to grab our plane here S and scale that out so I have a little more walking room here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift uh, D and then hit Y for the y-axis and I'm going to move this wall down over here or I clone the wall so now we have two walls here. I'm going to move it this one a little bit further and now we're going to make a door. I'm going to shift D again and on the y-axis, I'm going to grab that and we're just going to move it so that it blocks off that little walkway there. Then I'm going to scale it on the x-axis, make it a little bit thinner so you can see that there's a door there. So right now if we uh, come over here, I'm going to hit control up to make uh, wherever uh, section of the screen my mouse is over full screen makes it a little easier to see. Then I'll hit P and you can see that there's a door right there. A um, little hard to see because of where our light is, so let me actually move our light over on this side. And then once again, control up and P, you see there's a door there, but the door doesn't actually do anything right now. So we're going to have to uh, select the door and click on the little Pac-Man looking thing here to go in our logic editor. and. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to need to create the animation for the door. So I have the door selected and uh, right now I'm going to hit I and go to lock rotation or location rotation and scale. This is going to set a keyframe and then I'm going to hit my up arrow twice. And you see when I'm hitting the up and down arrows you see this number right here moving. That's the frame we're on. We're just going to do uh, go to 21. So there's going to be 20 frames in this animation. Then I'm going to hit G with that door selected and go Y and move the door over here so it's still sticking out a little bit and that's going to be our door animation. We're going to hit I and hit uh, location, rotation, and scale and that's making another keyframe. So now if you hit up and down you see where the door moves or you can hit left and right to see the full motion frame by frame. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add inside the logic editor we're going to add um, a radar, or I'm sorry, a near, so that when uh, an object with the property right here of player, which our player, if we select our player, you see he does have that property. So it's saying when the player gets close to the door, do this. And what we're going to do is uh, connect this here and we're going to go IPO which is our our frames that we just created and what we're going to want to do is play starting at 0 to frame 21 now if we play our game here and we walk up the door opens because the player got close to it but now we need to set it up so the door closes when the player moves away uh, also, you can change this distance here to decide if you want to open sooner. So, larger that distance, the further away the player has to be, uh, can be, for the door to open. But let's set that to two because I was pretty much touching the door at that point uh, before it opened and actually kind of pushed me back a little bit. So, there we go, it didn't push me back that time. And you can make that further if you want the door to open sooner. Uh, but let's also add a property to the door and we'll just call it close and we're gonna make that an integer and we're gonna have it set at zero initially and what we're gonna do over here is we're going to add that when we get close to that door we're gonna change the value of that property which is close and we're gonna change it to we'll say 10 And then we're going to add another uh, property over here that says um, 
when the property of the door that equals close that is closed equals one, what we're going to want the door to do is IPO play, and this time we're going to go the other way. We're going to twenty one to zero. But now we need to make it so that uh, that value equals that after the player walks away from the door. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add another little trigger here. And we're going to say um, uh, always. And we're going to set that to, let's say, 25. The lower that number, the faster the door will close. Uh, and what we're going to do is it is constantly going to be taking the property that is close and it's going to we're going to take close minus one so it's taking the value of close and subtracting one from it so when we walk to the door the value is going to go up to 10 and right away every 25 frames in the game it's going to subtract one from that number and when that number hits one the door is going to close again now the reason we chose one and not zero is uh, that it will, uh, by default, we have it set to zero, so if we have uh, the frame start at zero, the door will close when the game starts, and we want it closed already, not animated closed. Anyway, so I'm going to go back into our game here. I'm going to hit P, and we're going to walk up to the door. The door will open, and if I walk away, after a few seconds, the door will close. So that's how you make a door that opens and closes when you walk up to it. And uh, if you want this script, I'm going to have the Blender file, uh, a link to the Blender file in the description. And also go to filmsbychris.com, which is also in the description uh, for more things, uh, you know, open source and media related. And of course, if you really didn't want to use the door, you can always pick up the jetpack we made last time and just fly over the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll have more to come soon.